beta will be zero no so in the problem alpha will be 90 beta will be zero degrees so let me substitute that particular formula you know e equal to minus g lambda d sine 90 sine zero i cap cos 90 plus cos 0 degrees j cap and this will be minus g lambda d i cap g lambda d j cap now, very 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 important so what is telling there are two components are there one i component other j component and their magnitudes are equal so rather than remaining remembering like this no I'll, I'll go for still more better way look at the tie component how it will be perpendicular to the rod and look at the j cap parallel to the rod so therefore what i do here afterwards if i get a semi-infinite rod rather than in terms of i cap j cap let, let's generalize it there's a rod there's a point you know one component will be perpendicular to it the other component will be so like other component will be parallel to it the resultant of these two is what the net field and how the net field it will be will make an angle 45 degrees if there's a rod so what is e parallel should be equal to g lambda d say for numericals we need to think this one then i cap j cap because the orientation of rod can change The orientation of rod can change no? two components and their components, their magnitudes will be different here. So whatever the rough, rough uh, direction, 